And you know, it's been about four months now since so many businesses were forced to close their doors due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Some people have gone back to work, but more than 100,000 Floridians still have not. And many of them tonight are really struggling to stay afloat. Now that proposed Federal Heals Act also includes unemployment benefits, but at a lower rate than before. Tonight on your side, Jocelyn Howard is speaking with some financial experts about what economic repercussions this new bill could have. Today, about 11% of Americans are out of jobs due to COVID-19. That's a lot of people with a lot of bills and it takes a lot of money to support them. So the big question, how much money should they receive? It is a double-edged sword. One side of the coin is it helps people. But the other side argues. If you overdo it, it discourages people from going back to work. That's why the HEALS Act proposes decreasing federal unemployment benefits from $600 to $200 weekly. For many states like Kentucky and Maryland, where state benefits are over $400 weekly, that may be doable. But to make that change in Florida... It's just going to be devastating. Florida's maximum state benefits are $275 per week. That is the lowest amount in all 50 states. Under the HEALS Act, Floridians would receive a maximum of $475 per week. That's about half of what the CARES Act just provided. It's just not enough for people to be able to pay their bills. Economic expert Don Wiggins says this is a battle of short term versus long term. Short term, if people can't pay their bills, we could be seeing millions of people on the street evicted from their homes. But as the bill stacks up in the long run, at some point the bill comes due either in the form of reduced government spending, higher taxes or uh, inflation. Wigan says we can battle about this topic, but there really is one enemy at hand, COVID-19. The only real economic win here would be to get a vaccine out so the country can get back up and running. Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News, on your side.